You see us coming on the field, and once again, a lot of great Alabama fans were there. It just does so much for our team to go to a um, hostile environment and have so many of our people there. I believe we might have outnumbered the Temple people. We've got good leadership. That's some more good news. Our football team's beginning to come together with leadership. Derek Thomas, David Smith, Gene Jelks, they're our captains. Captains for this game. Kickoff was into the end zone, you'll notice, which is good. Philip Doyle's doing a better job, and we're doing a better job of covering. You may notice that Derek Thomas was there on the tackle as he was several times. We're going to put our best players if necessary. By the way, Derek came and volunteered to cover kicks, as did Greg Gilbert, and they have added a lot. The game did not start out good for us. Here's McNair, the excellent running back for Temple. Going for 11 yards on first down. Willie Wyatt comes inside out and makes a play. Willie plays full bore all over the football field. Here again is the wishbone triple option. Baker, their excellent quarterback, runs for 14 yards. So they got two first downs on the first two snaps. And, of course, we were very concerned. They worked for one more first down and then poor throw and good concentration by Lee Osmond and some good running. Lee runs the ball back out in good, good uh, position for us outside the 20-yard line. So they did get a drive going, and we mount our only good drive of the first half here on our first possession. That was our first play from scrimmage for this year. David Smith to Greg Payne. David had a big night statistically and would have done much better except for several drop balls. You'll see this Temple team extremely physical. Bobby gained about two yards there. Warren was the first guy to hit him, and about six others. They were very tough, physical football team. Fortunately, some plays like this kept the drive alive. Marco Battle on an excellent catch over the middle for 13 yards. Now we're at second and nine out at the 49-yard line. Again, good protection. Sam Atkins there, Roger Schultz, Larry Rose, John Fru Morgan, Terrell Chapman. Marco makes another nice catch. I believe David hit every pass on this first drive. You wondered if Bobby was full speed, you just take a look at some of the cuts here and you'll see that he's fine. There's an 11 yard gain. Start getting him on track. Didn't block anybody here. Bobby makes about seven on his own. Again, extremely tough hitting by the Temple team. Very well coached in the physical part of the game by Bruce Arians and his staff. Here's the sweep. Fairly well blocked. Good running by Bobby and we're in the end zone there. 7.02 of the first quarter. So we did some good things early, especially throwing the football. I was disappointed in our running game early. Even though you see the best plays here, you don't see some of the plays where we were stuck. And after this, we just really didn't generate much offense in the first half. A lot of enthusiasm by our players who were anxious to get this season underway. Philip missed this one, kicked it down to the 12-yard line, but the coverage is just great by Steve Webb there out of Holt High School. Steve had a good game. It's awfully good to see him back into action. Comes from a wonderful family out in Holt. They were out at the airport in the middle of the night, and I just really appreciate the families and the fans being with us. Spencer Hammond made a good play there. We got the ball back, couldn't do anything with it. Here's a nice job by Chris Moore, Robert Stewart, Stacey Harrison, and there's Steve Webb on the ball. So we get them bottled up down deep in their territory. George Bethune making a good play there. Keith McCants in the game. He's getting in on his first play in his college career, and it's going to be a good one. Here again, a good swarm in defense. Tommy Cole. McCants involved there again. And we begin to make our mistakes here. David Castile, who had some good runs in the game, Toss up the football, and uh, that's, again, that's just something that we don't tolerate, uh, coughing up the ball. So at the end of the first quarter, it's 7 to nothing. We'll be back right after this.
last round and gave up that good field position we had. So we're coming back off our 21 yard line. Here's a nice throw and catch. David to Bobby on the option. A uh, little option route for the tailback. Looked like we had a touchdown here. Marco didn't see it on the outside and ran into a guy on the ground. Roger Schultz is out there in good shape and we'll just have to work on that play and, and get it better. We did make five yards on it. Here we get hurried, uh, blitzing linebacker. I really, I really thought the inside linebacker play for Temple was awfully good for most of the game. Here comes McNair back again. 13 yards, we didn't do much contain over there. John Mangum had to make the play. Stevenson off the left side, good hit there. Good hit by George Thornton. George Thornton's gonna be a fine player for us. George did a lot of good things in the game. Some of these young guys like Thornton and McCant are really gonna be contributors. Great throw and catch. John Mangum turned, could not locate the ball. One of our best man coverage people, and uh, McCoy made a great catch. Now, we knocked the ball loose. William Amalong came up with it. Gilbert knocked it loose, and then we go into reverse. Look at this. We get stuffed up the middle. It's kind of embarrassing. Now, some people ask me about being in the shotgun down this deep in our territory, but we have confidence in our whole offense. We want the defense to have to be concerned about everything we do. You see David throwing to Lamont Russell there, who had an excellent game. But we were not able to get a first down. So we punt the ball. Derek Thomas on the sack. The six-yard loss for Baker. Here comes Derek again. Good pressure, but he gets the completion. Tackled by William Amalong there, who had a good game. So William had a fumble recovery and a couple of other good plays. Here Bill Wright, Temple's great field goal kicker, got a bad break. Ball bounced our way. Just one of those nights. Here's Bobby with a, another fine run without much blocking, six-yard gain. He had another great run for 20-some-odd yards, and it was called back as we were clipping. Todd Richardson on the quick post. Nice play there, 12-yard gain. Philip Miss hit this. It was uh, my coaching error that caused a little confusion. Kicked the ball extremely well other than that. Here's George Thornton with pressure. Flushes the quarterback out so that Van Creese Davis and George Bethune make the play. Spencer Hammond's right there, too. So we end up getting the football back. A little half roll here. David DeMarco. Marco needs to remember to take it up the field and not come back toward our line of scrimmage. Excellent throw and catch. David Smith, Lamont Russell for the first down, an 18-yard game. We start bogging down again, second and ten. Time's running out in the half. And David gets it down close enough that we can try a 53-yard field goal. And this is a big play now in this game, a very big play. You see Philip Doyle makes his career-long field goal, 53 yards. So instead of going in at the half, seven to nothing, and with the hitting I really thought in the second quarter belonging to Temple, they really took it to us and we got one enormous break when they knocked the ball loose we fumbled it they recovered it deep in our territory and there was an inadvertent whistle so I was very upset at the half I did not feel like we were playing the kind of football it was going to take to win this game but the field goal had an awful lot to do with it getting us the momentum and uh, we'll be back to see how the second half started to go a little better after these messages It's the right color, the world's greatest football machine, the Roll Tide. And you could win it free from the world's greatest snack food company, Golden Flake. To enter, go by any place Golden Flake snacks are sold, pick up your entry form, and mail it in to the address on the back. Then one of you will win this fully customized van, the Roll Tide. And you know what I always say. Carolyn Curry's favorite play in the game. She decided that this is the one that she had been looking for. And for all you Alabama folks that really would like to see Gene Jelks on offense, so would I. Now, during this run, it occurred to me several times that this guy can light up the scoreboard. I just wish I could play him at corner and on offense. Uh, believe me, the thought has crossed my mind. If we had somebody else that could play corner like Gene can, 
We'd had him over there, but he's so priceless to us defensively and returning kicks. This is the kind of thing he can do, and with the field goal by Phillip before the half, and then this play to begin the second half, it was a tremendous, in about 30 seconds, the momentum swing and the emotion of the game went completely our way when, frankly, we had allowed Temple to become the physical leaders in the football game, and we just can't let that happen. Very seldom we're going to be able to um, count on that kind of swing to keep ourselves in a game. We've got to do it with this kind of thing. We began to gang tackle here. You see the defense led by Greg Gilbert and Van Treese Davis. Excellent blitzing and speed there. The same two people. Spencer Hammond around the football again. They always manage to get something going. Here's a little counter option play. Down that sideline and McNair was scary all night. He is a fine back. I agree with Bruce Arians that he's got to be as good as there is in the East. And they work it on down here. But we get a big play here by Thomas Rayham. Lee Osmond with a perfect form tackle as we've worked so hard on improving our tackling. Greg Gilbert hurries this throw again. We almost got a great interception with a chance to run in the end zone by Derek, but we need to work on his hands a little more. Here's good presence by David and Howard. Big hit by the free safety there, but Howard hangs on. Earlier in the game, he had not done as well, and it was good to see him do that. Here's Prince Wembley. Remember this name, number 32. He's a true freshman, a wide receiver out of Miami. His first college catch. He has shown us a lot of poise and worked himself into the rotation. Very proud of Prince. So we get it down there, and Philip does a heck of a job with a 47-yarder with Butch Lewis doing the snapping and Chris Moore holding the football for us. And uh, looks like we're going to pick right up where Larry Abney left off with the good holding. Several big plays by Thomas Rayham on the evening. You've seen a couple of them there, and I'm really proud of Thomas. He ran right by the guy who didn't get the block in the open field there and left Bobby unprotected, so we lost the yard there. And come right back with the counter sweep. Good block here by Sam Atkins, who started his first game as a redshirt freshman as, as the left tackle and did a fairly good job. He'll get better and better with experience. Again, the sprint draw action and good concentration by Howard Cross. He ne needs to make those big tackles for us, and uh, big, the big catches, that is. Bobby in heavy traffic down to the 32. And here we miss connections. We need to make these big catches. We had too many drop balls. Todd Richardson's looking where he's going to run instead of catching the football. Now we come back out with a half row. Excellent catch by Marco for the first down as the third quarter ends. The scenario is this now. We've played three quarters. We've flopped around. We've played excellent defense. We've made mistakes. The score is 20 to nothing. One of our objectives in the 1988 season is to dominate the fourth quarter. A lot of coaches talk about that, but it's something that has to be hammered on the practice field hammered in the locker room, hammered on the game field. And the best thing about this football game, other than the shutout, is the fact that we did dominate the fourth quarter completely against the team that has been dominant in the fourth quarter against other good football teams. Now, it doesn't start out looking that way. Bobby makes a great run to the one, and then we go into reverse with our upfront blocking. That's not acceptable. First down, we get stuffed. Second down, we miss a block on the corner. We end up third down and four, having started at the one. That could be disastrous. But David and Kevin Turner do an excellent job here with our goal line passing offense, which is very difficult to defense if you're also going to play the run. And here's Kevin with his first college touchdown. Chris Robinette leading out to protect the quarterback. Excellent concentration on the football by Kevin Turner. And we go up 27 to nothing. Very important that we capitalize on those opportunities, but we should not have to be throwing from the four-yard line when we start from the one. Here's Mike Vermeil and Steve Webb with a good play. That's Mike's first big play as a junior college transfer as a defensive lineman out of California. Another big play here by Thomas Rayham. Sack the Temple quarterback. 
But the defense is continuing to keep the pressure on with a lot of young people getting in the game. Excellent agility, footwork by Thomas Ray, and to stay on his feet, he scrapes the ball out of the quarterback's hand, and Mike Vermeil comes up with it. You see a lot of enthusiasm on our football team. You generate enthusiasm with performance, not with cheerleading. Now we get better, we put our second offensive line in, and Kevin quickly gets his second touchdown. That's a lot of touchdowns for a fellow from Prattville in his first game. Well, from any place in that matter, and it was awfully nice to see the Turners there. And the family, I'm sure, enjoying this good work by the offensive line and the good running by Kevin. Chris Robinette, Mike Zuga, Clint Patterson, Scott Bolt, Vince Strickland, the second offensive line, getting plenty of action. Very important. Now Phillips kicking the ball off the way he's shown up in practice, deep into the end zone. Defense gets the ball back for us. We've got Murray Hill in the game. Murray is just a superb football player. That's a four-yard game. Robert Stewart from down in Houston County pulling for good yardage behind that second offensive line. On short yardage here, third and one, Murray shows good explosiveness. It's good to see the fellows in the game that don't get to play a lot of the time. Great running by Murray here. He almost broke that one off the left side. A little disappointed with himself. Gene Newberry's in the game at tight end now. Here's Murray breaking tackles, slipping other tackles. I believe Murray here will be a big factor in our season. We worked that on down and managed to miss a field goal, so that's the one real negative in the fourth quarter. But the tackling just got better and better. There's Mike Smith, Byron Sneed, swarming to the football. Vince Sutton in at quarterback now. Wayne Shaw in it, fullback, up the middle for four yards. David Castile, excellent blocking here by Gene Newberry and Trent Patterson. David shows us a burst for a 35-yard game. We we're not throwing the football. We we're not opening up the offense here. Obviously, we're not interested in running up a score, but we did want Allen Ward to get a chance to try a field goal with Bill Smith holding. So we got in there, and that established the final score of 37 to nothing. Allen got a chance to kick off for us, and he also got the ball into the end zone. Very important that we be able to do that. We're fortunate to have two kickers that can kick the ball that way. And we were able to run the clock on out and come out with a good victory. 